It looks like this. You want to start with a bright circle on the first frame. Next frame, make the circle larger by some amount, let's say 20 or 30 pixels. Third frame, larger still, but the increase should be less. In the previous example, maybe 10 or 8 pixels. Repeat this process as long as you like, with the rate of increase slowing to the point where the circle is barely growing, or not growing at all. Wait, it just disappears at the end. To solve this, you want to do the exact same thing again with the expanding circle, but you start on e.g. frame 3 instead of frame 1, and you delete rather than add the circle. In Acepright you can do this easily by going to each frame, starting from the last, selecting the contents of the frame two frames prior by control clicking it, and pressing delete to remove it. If you think this void circle appears too fast, you can remove a small circle from the frame before it begins, e.g. frame 2, to make it appear more smoothly. Sometimes you want the bright colour to fade over time, this is simply a matter of applying ever darker colours to ever later frames, but you can add some extra juice by using multiple colours for some frames. The inner area should be brighter when you do this. There you go, simple shockwave. Bonus tip, you can add an extra frame before the first with a dark circle, this will add more contrast and make the shockwave seem punchier and more attention grabbing.